Does your granddad let you live in his attic and talk sports and other nonsense? No? Just us? Welcome to the Grand Ag's Attic Pod. Go week two, week two, week two. Predictions. A lot of frauds out there. A lot of championship contenders. Yeah. How, how's your record looking? Did you, did you like, I mean, did you do okay? I think I broke about even, if I'm being honest. Not looking good. Not looking good. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah we we won't surprise a lot right. of people. Yeah, surprise me. Of course, surprise me as well. Good thing I didn't have any money out there. Hundred percent. This week maybe. How's your betting record doing right now, dude? Like you, uh, you, I only have one legal parlay that I placed and it didn't right. hit. You're a little. You're on a heater. Is that no, you're no, on no, a heater? no, 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 no. I'll we'll be on a heater this week. Okay. Tune we'll in be. later. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Thursday night, first game on Prime Video. We All got right. the Vikings at the Eagles. At the Eagles. Um, I'm going with the uh, NFC rainy NFC champs, the Eagles. You got? Uh, it's definitely Eagles. No other thought behind it. No, they, yeah, no yeah, the Eagles are just a much better team in every way, yeah. except I guess Justin Jefferson's be the best player on the field. But got you. Oh, red alert from you know I don't know out of nowhere. We got Holden's picks coming out of the coach. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me he picked the Eagles. No, he in fact picked the Vikings over the what Eagles. The? Crazy, believes a lot in Jay Jettas, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of believing in Kirk. I mean, first of all, believing in believing in Kirko at night. The Eagles though, over the Eagles though. That's what I'm saying. Thursday night game after losing to the Bucks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I guess he just thinks they're gonna be sick. I guess. I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. Whatever. What you got next? I uh, got a little AFC North battle going on at uh, one o'clock yeah. on Sunday. It's the Ravens at the Bengals. At the Bengals? Mm-hmm. I don't think it matters where it's at, if I'm being honest, because I got the Ravens. You serious? I'm serious. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So you're saying there's no home field advantage? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. I just oh, think you think the Ravens, the Ravens are that much better? I'm not saying that. I just think the Ravens are going to win. I'm riding with the Ravens. Straight up. I think last week was a little wake up call with the Bengals. Like, you know, you can't just walk in there and right. get a dub. Right. And I think they come out slinging. Joe Burrow throws for. 400 yards oh, this man. week to make up for last week's little okay. blunder. Yeah. Uh, Bengals by 10. Bengals by 10. All right. Holden also has. Wait, wait. Did you hear that? Huh? Did someone just call? Again? Who's who's he got? Oh, my God. He's got the Bengals over the Ravens. Oh, good pick. Good Terrible pick. pick. I agree. Terrible I, pick. I, I agree. I agree with him I there. I did. I have to agree with him there. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like somebody's in my ear saying, my take is I'm taking the, <laughs> the Bengals over the Ravens. Um, I'm taking the Bengals. <laughs> No, dude, I'm going Ravens, dude. What you got? Who's next? So next we got uh, America's team uh-huh. uh, at Bills. No, it's not who you're thinking. Oh, no, it's not. It's not who oh, you're thinking. Whoa. Did you get that from the sheet? It's the Raiders. <laughs> For some reason he thinks the Raiders. Oh, cheat, cheat. Raiders, 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 the Raiders, just the Raiders. The America's team, team now. Yeah, I mean, I think Vegas. maybe America's team and all the ladies out there because they got the Ooh, hottest quarterback in the league. There you go, Jimmy G. I got. Ah. Uh, I'm going to go with the Raiders, dude. I got Bills. I, I put Bills number one on Fraud Watch for a reason. I think they're going to suck this year. Well, you and the man in the sky are delusional, so mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the better team, the Bills, yeah. and I would take their line, nine, minus nine and a half, free money. Actually. Bills by 17. Actually, from the Raptors, he picked the Bills to beat his own team. What? The Raiders. <laughs> this is news I'm just now hearing. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's ridiculous. Wait, wait. He's on the Bills. You're on the Bills. He doesn't have them. He doesn't have them to cover though. He's not that disrespectful. No, no, not not against America's team. He claims it's playing it safe. Apparently, it's insane. What kind of what kind of fan is he? Robert How about you play it safe and pick your damn team? Exactly. Man. That's always the safest option. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Al Al whatever his name is, Big Al, the old Raiders owner, would be so Al disappointed. Davis. Al Davis would be so disappointed. Man. It's ridiculous, man. What's next? We got a little uh, rematch of a playoff game last uh-huh. year. Really a playoff game. Yeah, yeah. Just lost up having it's the Chiefs this time in Jacksonville in against Jacksonville. the Jaguars. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go is in Jacksonville. In Jacksonville, one o'clock. I'm gonna go with the Chiefs. I'm gonna go. Chris Jones is back. First game back. He's gonna wreck shop. I think I do think the Jags is gonna be a crazy shootout. Mahomes is just gonna have to like get on his people. They're gonna put stick them on the hands. They're gonna have them ready, dude. I think the Chiefs are going to get a dub. Uh, this time, I'm going to say the Jags. Win. the Jags? I think no. No, the Chiefs start 0-2. Yeah. They're going to have to come from adversity. I do, like, I do like Trevor. I think Trevor could win an MVP this year, if I'm being honest. I think, he's, uh, I think he's got the weapons around him. You know what I mean? I don't think he's just one of those dudes who's, like, put up the numbers. Like, he might not look like the MVP, but, like, his numbers might match an MVP type of season. You know what I mean? I think. So, you got Jags? 
Jags. Jags. Jags and Jags and one. I got Cheezers. I got Chiefs. And then Holt's got the Jags. <laughs> Good pick. You know, I don't know how you feel, man. How, you like, he can't pick the Chiefs. That's what he's going against his uh, the America's team. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know how you feel about him picking the same teams as you, though, man. Is that, is that like a – It's a make, good pick. Does that make I, you feel good or does that make you feel bad or anything? Ugh. I kind of want to fade Holden him pulls some. Out, well, he pulls some out of his ass sometimes, yeah, so I'll, I'll yeah. give him that. Yeah. yeah, and then he'll, like, you know, he'll get honest about it, you know. <laughs> that's his take. <laughs> what you got next? Uh, I will have no, some solid matchups this week. 100%. Uh, Chargers at Titans. Solid matchup, you say? Titans, solid Chargers? matchup. I mean, solid you know, matchup? I mean, it's just, you know, for the storyline. I don't know. I don't know if that's a solid matchup. Being honest. Who you got? Chargers. Chargers. No no other comment needed. I thought about it. I was like, man, the Chargers don't even look that good. Tannehill threw three interceptions. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, man, they do have Brian Tannehill playing. Jay Herbo. Jay Herbo. Oh, yeah. I think we're going three for three on the Chargers. Yeah, I mean, I, that's a – I may have overstated the game importance there. But we got another one coming up that's really good. A little <laughs> NFC uh, battle. NFC battle what down south this weekend. Got, what you got? One o'clock, uh, Packers at Falcons. Packers at Falcons. Who you got, man? I got to go with Jordan Love. He looked nice Jordan last Love? week, dude. He looked I'm so nice. Lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm going he with the so Falcons, baby. Whoa. Tyler, Tyler Algier looked good. B. John Robinson looked good. The defense looks solid, man. I like the Falcons this year, dude. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, picking Desmond Ritter is one yeah. way to go about it, I guess. Calais Campbell's going to, like, break J- Jordan Love's leg in half, man. It's going to be crazy. He's 48 years old, man. Give it a rest. <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with that? They got, they got, uh, they got pretty good DBs as well. He's good for his age. Eh, I guess, man. You know, I feel like I'm getting, I'm fucking getting ganged up on here because Holden has the Packers as well. It's a great pick. Not, He's a Jordan Love believer as I as well am I. You know, one game proved that to me. That's all I need. Some people say that Jordan Love's barely better than Sam Howe. If I'm being honest, barely, barely. barely. <laughs> oh yeah, leagues above, eh? Leagues, leagues above. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Let's talk about fraud watch. Fraud watch Sam Howe. Oh, you got next, next we got another. Wow, there's so many NFC battles this oh, week. Yeah, uh, Seahawks <laughs> at Lions. Seahawks so, at Lions. You know, last year this game was a little shootout. Too, yeah, so. yeah. I'm gonna go with the Lions this week, man. Yeah, that's a pretty easy pick. Yeah, you know, Seahawks are gonna, they're on the decline this yeah. year. They already took a huge loss to right. the Rams. And right. Gino, Gino Lions. Smith. I'm you know, a, he's the he's the new Nick Foles. Yeah, I mean. And I'm I'm a big I'm a big golf guy. Yeah, hmm? I'm not a big golf guy, but I'm a big, I'm a big <laughs> NCDC guy, man. I like I like the Lions, dude. I like the I like what the what they got going on. But Dan Campbell, man. NCDC, Motor City, Woo. Dan Campbell, baby. We're not kneecaps. Anyway, who you got next? Chewing, fucking chewing on <laughs> kneecaps, baby. <laughs> who you got next? Who did our uh, oh, friend in the sky have? He picked the Lions. Oh. Well, that's a good pick. Three for three. Needless to say, I think we've agreed on a lot of these. And that means I feel like when we go three for three, we're gonna lose. I think, I think we have a winner for this next game for our shittiest game of the week. Let's see it. Let's hear it. Colts at Texans. Oh, toilet bowl. Hundred percent. These two teams are just kind of playing for draft position now. I guess season's kind of over I for them. Know. I think. I, I don't think the. Yeah. 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 The you season's kind of over. You think? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take the Texans. Taking the Texans. See. Really? Jay Stroud. Wow. Not a big Anthony Richardson guy, eh? You think, you think he's the, all right. You think the injury plays in a factor? He, yeah, he's just, he's been taking too many hits. Yeah? Already? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's played a lot of, <laughs> played a lot of football. He's done already? That's crazy. I think his career is about headed, headed towards the You're end. You're tripping, man. The man throws straight bullets. No arc on the ball. We're going to Anthony Richardson for the dub. <laughs> you just Texas. said a reason why he's, he's not good, and then you said that's why they're oh, going to win. Man. And from the top rope, Hold comes down with the Colts as well. <laughs> terrible pick. <laughs> terrible pick. What do you uh, mean? I don't, I'm not putting my faith in AR. It's terrible. AR5. You're putting your faith in uh, CJ Shroud? Yes. Nico. I, I do like D'Amico. I think D'Amico's going to be I don't remember awesome. Anthony Richardson ever putting up 41 points on the Georgia Bulldogs in the playoff. This isn't, the, this isn't college anymore, man. It doesn't matter. It's not, He's not, not, it's not a, uh, where you get cupcake games for the first five games of the season. You know what I mean? You're playing in the NFL. Every game's Alabama. Just like Urban Meyer said. Trash. Going yes. To the Colts, oh, yeah, yeah, yes. I'll take <laughs> Urban Meyer's uh, advice on coaching an NFL team. Uh, next, we got Bears at Bucks. Bears at Bucks. Baker. Intriguing game to me. Baker Mayfield all the way. Yeah. Baker, Baker Mayfield. So now you're a Baker guy, huh? Oh, I've always been a, you're Baker, a Baker guy. guy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, out of nowhere, Holton also picked the Bucks. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, you picked the Bears? I'm going with the Bears. Man. What? I like Justin Fields, man. <laughs> oh, they played. Yeah, the, the Bears played so good last last week that they showed you that they could beat them. I right? just think the Bucks aren't that good, man. Uh, I I think it was an anomaly. When did Baker ever play two good games in a row? row? When did Baker ever play good two good, two good games in a row, man? What's the difference? I mean, I can't name them specifically, exactly. you have no but I'm not a you Baker aficionado. What the fuck? Wake up, man. <sighs> We're in the middle of a video. Sorry, man. It's real smug behavior, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> I think it's probably because you probably fall asleep because this next game we're about to pick. Oh, what's the next game? Giants at Cardinals. Giants at Cardinals. I'm gonna be asleep watching that game. <laughs> that game sounds terrible, man. I don't care about that game. Cardinals. 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 You're picking the Cardinals over the Giants. I'm picking the team that didn't lose forty to zero. Oh, dude. <laughs> What do you mean? Daniel Jones. No, no. Bro, you, you can't hop on the Cardinals bandwagon. Like, dude. <laughs> I'm not hopping on the bandwagon. I'm saying they're going to win this one game. No, no, no. <laughs> Did you ride the bus today? Is, is, is the team you're riding with? Did yeah, you ride we the all, bus today? We need those type of dogs. We all came from nothing. Absolutely right? not. I'm going Giants. I don't believe in Daniel Jones at all. I don't at all. But Saquon, probably going to have like 150. Running on the Cardinals. They suck. But like, you know, it is what it is. You, know? you forget they still have Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz, Josh Dobbs. Okay, the Giants have um, Darren Waller and Jalen Hyatt, who dropped like three passes. They both of these teams suck. Tr- truly, I don't care. And like, f- like a pain in my side is telling me that just the j- hold and pick the Cardinals as well. I just can't believe you two, man. I don't know what it is. I tell you what, he's got some good picks this week. Does I he? mean, I, that's, what, that's what this is really showing me. Yeah. He knows what he's talking I about. He's got, I think he's got sick brain. I don't know. <laughs> sick brain. COVID brain. <laughs> COVID brain. <laughs> what do you got next? Ooh. NFC West battle. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 49ers at Rams. But is it really at Rams? Yeah, the Rams. Do they have any fans? Do they? It's just like the Cardinals. I mean, not the Cardinals. It's, the Chiefs. The Chiefs. Oh, it's okay. kind of like a neutral site game, I'd say. Probably. 100%. Mm, yeah, neutral yeah, site. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe even a home game, right? For the Niners, I got. Are you, you picking? Are you picking the arguably the best team in the league right now? I'll, I'm picking the best team in the league right now. I'm picking the best team in the league right now. The Forty Niners, huh? Mm-hmm. That was a great. Brock, Brock, Brock. Nice pick, nice pick, nice pick. Okay. For some reason, this guy, this, this guy named Holden, he he picked the Rams over the Forty Niners, dude. Can you believe that? I see. I think Holden like just really values home field advantage. Does he? For some, I but I think he for what he forgot to like he might have just looked at the paper because no. what he forgot to think about was that. The Rams don't have home field advantage because they don't have any fans. Correct. The Bengals out fanned them in the right. Super Bowl 100%. from a thousand miles away. Yeah. It didn't help. But Matthew Stafford just got just got spinal surgery and all that stuff too. Like I mean, he, he's, he's Tommy like, John. Yeah, you know, he's, man, been, he's, he's been, he's been up, playing too much baseball. Bosa's with Clay gonna Kershaw. Bosa's gonna have a two sacks. Hargrave's probably gonna have a sack. Uh, Hafunga's probably gonna get a pick. You know, it's just because because Matthew Stafford will give you one. Okay. Yeah, he what likes to. He, sometimes he likes to do what I would like to say the uh, pass from Holmes from Wish. Yeah, he likes to do the little little side on. No, no, but it's not. to. He did it first though, man. Hey, you gotta give him credit. He was doing it first. Mm. Was he? Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Either way, we got the Niners. I mean, he created it. I got the Niners. Well, Holmes wasn't perfect. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, think about it. Here we too. go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, this could have been a much better game without the what happened last night. But well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jets at Cowboys. Jets at Cowboys. Yeah, boys. You going with the Cowboys? Boys. Cowboys? I'm going with the boys. Holden also has the Cowboys. He claims that uh, he says that the Jets are just a better BYU team now. It's weird. I don't know why he would do that. Doesn't make any sense. Sick brain. Like, like is he trying to say they're Mormons? Sick brain. I don't know, man. Their quarterback, maybe. Do they have a lot of religious? Is that what he's? Tra- I don't know, man. Yeah, he's I got the, he's got the Cowboys over the BYU no, Jets. Not. All I know is I got the Jets, baby. I believe. I think that, I think they they could arguably have a number two defense in the league. It looks like the Cowboys. You uh, know the Cowboys. I believe no the Jets. I think you know, by this time next week, next Tuesday, when we record this video, you know what I'm gonna do? Cowboys are gonna be on fraud watch, baby. Oh, they're gonna suck. You know, some could say they're almost as good as the '85 Bears. Oof. Yeah, they're getting comparisons, aren't they? <laughs> There's there's some you know, there's there's some comparisons out there. Yeah, uh, you know, some people say that they're probably better than the '85 Bears. I think so. I mean, they they do. Uh, yeah, I think they are. I pretty think they're better than the Bears. Solid. Pretty solid. Anyway, so, you got next. Uh, next we got another meh, meh game. It's mm-hmm. uh, commies at Broncos. Commies at Broncos, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting into the nitty gritty, aren't we? 
You know, I was thinking about this. I was tossing and turning last night thinking about this game. I just don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then I just came to the realization that, you know, Sean Payton is mm-hmm. going to get his first win okay. as the Broncos head coach because he's going to put a bounty on Sam Howell's head like okay. he did Brett Favre of course, of course. in 09. Yeah. And then they're going to win the game. Yeah, Sean Payton's finally going to put Riverboat Ron out of his misery because he obviously doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, man. He's trying. He, is he? He's a good guy. Not hard Cancer enough. survivor. All three of us. Out of nowhere. You forget he's a cancer process. survivor, I think. That's true. You're being, kind of, you're being kind of an asshole right now. Yeah, it's very unsensitive. Very unsensitive to me. I'm sorry. I apologize. God damn. Sorry. Who you got next? Oh, another divisional game, man. Mm-hmm. Week two is really delivering here. Of course. Sunday night, yeah, football yeah. on NBC. Yep. Dolphins at Patriots. This is the Sunday night game? Mm, yeah. This is the game. So we're gonna have to listen to. Here's, here's Here. a guy. Here's a guy. Here's a guy, Mac Jones. <laughs> here's a guy, Tua. Here's a guy, the cheetah. Here's a guy. God. Who you got, man? I mean, I think the Dolphins are by far better than the Pats. Yeah. But I could see a little upset by the Pats. But I'm, I'm gonna go with the Fins. Just I'm gonna to go, be safe. Just I'm to be go safe. With the Dolphins as well. But I totally understand what you're saying. It feels like a trap game. And Bill Belichick like, probably has a good plan going. It's in Miami though. No, it's in uh, New England. Oh, it's in New England. Ooh, that does change some things. I'm still going with the Dolphins. However, if it was in Miami, I would, I would like, you know, the Patriots are terrible in Miami every year. Well, two is a warm weather merchant, so. Oh, yeah? You think so? Always plays his best games in the warm weather. Come on, no sleeves, man. He's going to be slinging it around, man. He, he's, doing, he's been doing that jujitsu. Sorry, know? I didn't mean to come at him. Yeah. Ah, I forgot he's my one, but I won't yeah. do that anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez. Wow. Ryan Clark. Holden also has the fence, by the way. That's a good pick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a, I mean, a we, we all, we all kind of agreed on that What's one, this? I think. Hold on, wait a second. He says by at least 400 points. Oh, man. The There's no way they're putting up 400 the points. What an idiot. 100 at least. <laughs> the disrespect maybe, is crazy. Maybe, yeah, I, I was thinking like 100, mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah. What What the? F- what we got? Two. There's minutes? two. There's two games on. In one night, two games in Monday Night Football. Wait, so who's doing the other game? I don't know. That's a great question. Oh, it's ESPN. Hopefully, it's Reese Davis. Oh no, <laughs> no, Reese Davis is not it's doing it. It's gonna be Dan Orlovsky. No, <laughs> <laughs> you better hope you got oh, Buck God. on the Browns Steelers. I hope so, man. I don't like them either. Well then, uh, well, yeah, I, no, I'm just, gonna ask you this because I'm not like, like I don't already know. Right, right, right. So who do you think's gonna win that game? Browns at Browns Steelers. Steelers? Browns at Steelers. At Hackers, your first, first, first of all, I don't like this disrespect from this this, this voice in our head. He claimed that this is the toilet bowl of the week. Can you believe that? In the same week that the Colts and the Texans That's are what playing? I'm saying, man. So, uh, I'm not watching that shit. I, don't get it. I got the Steelers. I just got the Steelers. You know, Grant, Big bounce back week. Come on, man. Let's get out of Fraud Watch. Come on. I God, understand. I hope the Steelers run that pervert into the ground, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solidarity. Let's go, Real TJ boy, Watt. Ooh. Real boy. Real boy. Real boy. Real boy. What? 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 He's got the Browns over the Steelers, by the way, though. Oh, that's a terrible pick. I agree. Sick brain. How would you <laughs> sick brain? See, the Browns basically won their their little Super Bowl last week. They went out partying Ooh, after the game. Oh, it's week one, yeah. Deshaun. You're, Get you're, your hands your off the woman. Jerseys are literally brown. You're literally shit. You're literally shit. But last game, last game, best game, obviously. Saints at Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's Derek Carr versus Bryce Young. Isn't that isn't that what you want when you turn on the TV? I certainly do. At seven fifteen, some people won't even be home from the gym yet. Oh man, seven fifteen. What time's the other game? Eight fifteen. Yeah, I think oh, eight. Uh, they're overlapping. I'm hoping the Brown Steelers get Joe Buck. So then, because I'm not gonna watch Saints they Panthers. Have to, they have to. No way. Are you watching Saints Panthers? Uh, I will be at work at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> so I, I got something to watch. We're like, oh, that game's on. When when's the other one start? Oh, nice. What sound? What, which which game? Wait, are you putting the sound on? Who huh? are you picking? I need to know. I need to know. About the Saints Panthers? I'm going Saints. Bryce Young gets his first win <laughs> in the NFL. No way. You really think that? The Panthers are free from the Matt Rule era. Oh, man. No, they're cursed, man. Hayden Hurst threw his ball. Up in no, the Frank stands, Reich's though. a QB whisperer. He's going to come out. Ooh. Bryce Young is going to come out, and he's going to ball. Is he? I thought Doug Peterson was a QB whisperer. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> I thought so. Wait, 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 wait. Who's his last pick? Who's his last pick? He picked the Saints, man. 
<laughs> no hell goes. Chris Olave. I think it's I think it's because he has too many Saints oh, players. He's a good player. He's, he's a good. Too, he's too many, he's Chris too many Olave is a good player. I'll give Chris Olave that. He has too many Saints players on his fantasy team. I think this is an inside job. He has no real analysis about this. So team. he's just cheering for the guys on his fantasy. That's what I'm team. saying, man. He's not even that's a real, not a real pick. That's what I'm saying that's, that's not, not a real why, pick. That's why he picked the right. He didn't even pick his own team, man. What's wrong with him? I don't get it. I don't he's get that it. COVID brain. He's I got told sick you, brain. He's got COVID brain. <laughs> he's got real sick Jesus brain. Christ. It's ridiculous, dude. Anyway, those are our picks. Those are our picks. Pretty pretty solid picks. We'll see who comes out on Fraud Watch next week, I think. Same teams? Could be different teams. Who knows? Let's go. Ravens. Ravens going to be on Fraud Watch? Bengals going to be number one instead of number two. Right. Okay. 